hydrofolate reductase. What is it and what am I talking about? Hi there folks, I'm Andrea Cox, holistic wellness coach and intuitive healer, here to explain a little bit more about the MTHFR gene mutation. Now, I actually started speaking out about this in 2012 because I have a single strand of one of the two gene mutations that I'm about to talk about. But lately, I've been seeing a lot of misinformation. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this that really are Google doctors that aren't doing their research right. If you're gonna be a Google doctor, go to the books, not Google. That's what I like to say. So let me first talk about how I first came to understand, learn about, and know what an MTHFR gene mutation is. The proper wording for MTHFR, if you're going to get an MTHFR test, is methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase. And what this means is MTHFR gene mutation. So if you're going to ask your doctor for a test, you can just abbreviate that and say MTHFR. What is MTHFR? MTHFR is the gene mutation that triggers the MTHFR enzyme to process folate and folic acid into the active form of B9. Basically, it helps your body detoxify on a cellular level. And just so you guys know, the reason I know so much about this, there's no teleprompter, there's no notes in front of me, I'm actually just on my cell phone, is because I have one of these gene mutations that causes me to only methylate at 40%. So I'm gonna break down the process again, and then I'm gonna tell you the symptoms I had and what I had to go through, which is very sad actually, that led me along this journey. MTHFR gene mutation is actually the trigger that gets the MTHFR enzyme to transmute folate and folic acid into the active form of B9. And what this does is this assists the body on a whole host of methylation processes. So what methylation does in the body, it actually has a whole host of things it does. It switches genes on and off. It actually repairs your DNA. It helps the body detoxify. It uh, helps slow down the aging process. There's a plethora of things. So. When you look at someone like me and you're like, wow, she doesn't, she only methylates at 40% and I'm in my late forties, there's a lot of work that goes into my daily routine in order for me to methylate. And I'm gonna share some of the supplements and something I get from my doctor that I give myself every week. I think that to be honest with you guys and not to get emotional, I think God wanted me to figure out what was going on in my body. We weren't a family that was sharing out loud about our family history of heart disease at the time, nor did we even know. Uh, my grandmother had had a stroke, but I had no idea that that also uh, is, you know, a gene significant in families of not being able to methylate fully. So, you know, we do have a history of heart disease in our family, a history of strokes, uh, weight gain, lethargic, things of that nature, and all of this is related. So the first thing you need to know is you get these gene mutations from one of your parents. So if you have it, chances are your siblings have it and one of your parents has it. That's important to know so you can educate your family. Now, the fact that I had had two miscarriages and even had one later after the age of 35 was very hard on me mentally and emotionally. Although I never uh, saw myself as giving birth or wanting children, I see myself as someone who gives birth to books and projects and programs and oracle decks and things of that nature. I was really heartbroken about this having happened twice and then a third time later. And I still didn't have all the answers that an MTHFR gene mutation could be the cause. I thought it was because I was under a lot of stress during one of the uh, miscarriages. I was going through a breakup. I was very thin. I thought that attributed to it. So I just want to clarify, this gene mutation is important. 
So I just want to point out this gene mutation is important to educate yourself on, especially if you're a woman of childbearing age or if you have a wife or a girlfriend that you are looking to get pregnant in the future. Now, what are some of the illnesses, the diseases that people get? Well, heart disease, high blood pressure, strokes, ADHD and autism have even been linked to this. Also, uh, macular degeneration, Alzheimer's, there's a plethora of things that having one, either a homeozygous, a single strand, a double strand of one of these two gene mutations can lead to. That's why it's so important to educate yourself. What are some of the symptoms? Well, I had extreme weight gain and a skin rash, and at both times during my lifetime that this has flared up, it has always resulted in a skin rash and I've been under enormous amounts of stress. Let me tell you a few things that I do on a daily, weekly, monthly basis that help leave my gene mutation dormant. One of the things I do is I actually supplement. Uh, this is Thorn 5-MTHFR1. Now, don't just go out and take methylated B vitamins, folate, etc., and think, oh, I probably have this. I'm, you know, I'm gonna start taking these. I actually represent a company and I'm gonna link the video here and you can use my coupon code and get those supplements if you do need methylation supplements. No, I don't earn anything off of it anymore. I'm just sharing the video. It was a video I shot one year ago for all of you. Another thing I do is I actually get a shot from my doctor and where is that shot? Let me get it for you. Another thing I do is I give myself a B vitamin shot in my tucus, in my butt cheek, once a week. It is a mix of methylated B vitamins and folate. Now, not everyone needs this. In fact, it can, do, it can have an opposite effect on you if you don't need it. If you look back at way older videos, I'll link it here, before I even knew I had an MTHFR gene mutation, I was getting this shot from a naturopathic doctor anyway. And that just tells you how intuitive I was with my own health. I think the video is like 10 years old and I will link it right here. And you guys can pay me a lot of compliments below on how I still look the same, just kidding. So I also supplement uh, with methylated vitamins. I also make sure I get daily exercise in. I do drink orange juice every day, unpasteurized orange juice I, I juice myself because it's high in folate. So what are the foods we can eat if we're not methylating properly? Well, raw spinach is excellent. A lot of beans and lentils are high in these vitamins that you can be lacking, such as folate, folic acid, etc. Also, uh, orange juice. Orange juice is excellent. That's I drink it every day. I swear by drinking orange juice. In fact, on the days that I don't start my day with orange juice, I know everyone's into celery juice. For me, not being a methylator, it's OJ for me. Sometimes I'll put some chlorella in that to deepen and magnify the nutritional value. These are the things I do. I also, from a mental health standpoint, I watch myself. If I am getting very lazy or too lethargic or not getting out enough, I know that my MTHFR gene mutation is in full effect and I need to talk to someone. I really hope this video helped at least one of you. And if it did, can you do me a favor? Will you go ahead and share this with someone you love, someone you care about, someone that you know could use this and that may have an MTHFR gene mutation themselves? Remember, there are two different gene mutations and you can have a single strand or a double strand of one of the two or even of both. And that's when you know you've really got to look out for your health if you have both. I'm grateful to only have one strand of one. However, many people have two strands of both. Now, after you share this, will you do me a favor? Will you hit the thumbs up button and comment in the comments, hey, Andrea, I really got something from this. That would make me feel great. I love each and every one of you. Please love yourself, take care of your health, and drink your green juice. I just wanted to tell you, I love connecting with people on all my social media platforms. 
On Facebook, I post there the most. My personal page has 25,000 followers. It is Andrea Lee, L-E-I-G-H Cox on Facebook. On TikTok, I am Andrea Lee, L-E-I-G-H Cox on TikTok. On Instagram, I am Raw Chef Andrea. And if you happen to be watching this video somewhere else, Andrea Cox TV on YouTube for health and wellness and the Detox Intuitive for spirituality. I love you guys. And as always, sign up for my newsletter at andreacox.com with 54,000 other people. Be well.